Yes, but you said you have an issue with the government not uh, representing the will of the people. So if you personally have an issue with that, then why do you support him if that is not the will of the people? Right, so will and majority are two different things, right? So are we a democracy? You're not, you're not here. Are we a democracy? Should we be? No, but are we? Why should we not be? Is that not a core fundamental point of uh, American society? No. Has democracy appeared anywhere in the Constitution? I mean, that is genuinely a valid point. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check out Charlie Cook. Runs entitled the leftist snob. Okay, this is going to be good. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Hello. Um, so from your talk, I gathered that a big problem you have is the government representing the will of the people, and you believe it should do a better job at that, correct? Um, if you say that, how can you support Donald Trump when he has lost the popular vote twice? Okay. Because we don't elect presidents using the popular vote. That was good. That was good right there. Yes, but you said you have an issue with the government not uh, representing the will of the people. So if you personally have an issue with that, then why do you support him if that is not the will of the people? Right, so will and majority are two different things, right? So are we a democracy? You're not, you're not here. Are we a democracy? Should we be? No, but are we? Why should we not be? Is that not a core fundamental point of uh, American society? No. Has democracy appeared anywhere in the Constitution? I mean, that is genuinely a valid point. <laughs> However, your point of the government should represent the people, mm -hmm. why is it that democracy is not? in the Constitution, or why is it that you believe that the will of the majority is not as important as the will of the minority if your issue specifically is the government should represent the people better? Good question. So we believe in the Electoral College. Why? Because Kansas deserves a voice. Because Missouri deserves a voice. And it's the most important way I could distill it is the union we have is the states created it the federal government didn't create it. So the kind of price of admission is every state gets two senators, congressmen based on population, and then electoral votes based on that population. So you kind of get a mix of both. And it's also this tension. And I would ask the question, if we abolished the electoral college, do you think that the needs, wants, and interests of Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, North, South Dakota, Montana would be taken as seriously as New York and California? That would be my question to you. Do you believe that some citizens are more valuable than others? Because in our current system, some people's votes hold more sway than others. Because people in like Wyoming, who have smaller populations, have more say than places like here in Missouri and Kansas. Why is this acceptable if it's, again, your issue is the will of the people. Because we're not a democracy. So a democracy is simple majoritarianism. So let me give you an example. Sure. In a democracy, by up or down vote, you could say, I want to enslave black people. A constitutional republic says, no, you're going to have to go through a process to do that. So let me ask you a question. Do you think the majority of the will of the people could ever be wrong? Yes. OK. So the founding fathers knew it could almost assuredly be wrong, right? So the system of a republic versus a democracy is it has to be slow and arduous and intentional mm. because it has a preference on liberty, right, not on free stuff. And so over a period of time, how do you best protect liberty? Well, you've got to spread over all the representation over space and time, right? So you do it over a lot of states, a lot of square miles, a lot of acreage, and it takes a lot of time to take over the federal government, right? You have to win an election, and then an election, and an election. It's not impossible. We eradicated slavery. We gave women the right to vote. So it's possible to get change done. But the Founding Fathers were less concerned about getting progress done really quickly, and they were more concerned with the government doing bad stuff too quickly. Does that make sense? But that is not what you said. You said that your specific problem is the government does not do the will of the people. Why is it that your will and what you want is more important than that of the majority? Well, it's not my will. It's the 
framers and the system we have. But to answer your question, I believe the best way to determine the will of the people is through states' rights and states' directives. If Kansas wants to say, hey, we can have decentralized gun laws or school choice, God bless Kansas. And so the question is not is national will also versus state will, right? So the we have to recognize that the values of someone in Kansas, in Manhattan, Kansas, is a lot different than the values of someone in Manhattan, New York. It's a lot different. And so through a democracy, it'd say, hey, the people of New York City want to have firearms confiscated. I don't know how, I don't think that dog's going to hunt in Manhattan, Kansas. Well, Kansas State University, so I don't know. But it allows, answer your question, it allows people that disagree with one another to live in the same nation. You see, a Republican-style government, small r, allows people that might agree on almost nothing to still engage in self-government while still having a national project to, to participate in. So to make, clarify it even more, it is a question of the consent to the governed. If it was just a democracy, it would be an up or down vote on every single person, and that's it. The Founding Fathers saw that fail time and time again. Athenian democracy, people just vote themselves stuff. So they said, we have to have some sort of system that realizes that if men were angels, government would not be necessary, but men are not angels, so we gotta create some sort of government. Federalist 51, as Madison said. So we gotta figure this out. So government is necessary, but we don't wanna have too big a government, and people are just gonna vote themselves stuff all the time, so how do we do that? Well, local is better than national, but you gotta have some sort of a national influence, and so they created the great balance between Jeffersonian and Hamiltonian type philosophy, as we know, is the U.S. Constitution. And the one thing they all agreed on, though, is human nature. They knew that absolute power corrupts absolutely and that people were likely to abuse it. So I would just kind of counter by saying the will of the people can be best expressed through a multi-state project. For example, I believe a election is much healthier and much more representative by requiring candidates to go to Iowa, Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and not just spending time on the coast. Because you know why? It might seem as if, oh, we don't need those flyover states. We don't need them. First of all, that's arrogant, prideful, and wrong. How exactly are you going to feed your family, and where do you think the breadbasket of the world comes from? The founders saw ahead. And the final thing I'll say is this, is that it was Hamilton or Ma it was Madison that said, we cannot have the tyranny of the cities over the farmers. And that, that's built into our system. Thank you for being here tonight. i got to get to the next question. Thank you. So you believe your vote should be more important than others? No, I don't. In fact, if you want, first of all, the way you do senators is egalitarian. The way you do Congress people is representative population. And let me just reinforce this, which again, California still has more electoral votes than Kansas. So there is a precedent, there is a weight on population. It's just done in the, done in the context of that every state gets a voice. For example, Kansas, South Dakota, Oklahoma don't get merged in just because they all look the same from an airplane you're flying by. It's a state with states' rights, its own government, its own constitution. So to push back, it's not as if population means nothing. It's that population is factored in to a national project. And I'll just say one final thing on states. You go through COVID, Europe, they had one decree. Every part of Germany, Belgium, France did the same thing. These laboratories of democracy that continually happened keep us freer. And you have a state rights project or you have a national project. The state's rights project has kept us freer, has kept people more prosperous, because if you don't like your government, you're closer to it and you can make changes and adjustments. Thank you. Got to get to the next question. Thank you. Got to get to the I'm sorry. I got to get to the Thank you. Thank you. Thank, I got to get to the next question. I, I, I heard you out. Thank you very much. Uh, that's not the question. More vote. So, hey, do you live in Kansas or Missouri? Because guess what? In Kansas, you actually have a bigger voice than some people in California, her, why, hilariously. Why because right? states have rights. So because why is the individual less important? I got to get to the next question, but, but I don't think you're hearing what I'm saying. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Got to get to the next question. Okay. The lady is entitled and she's actually a snob. <laughs> but I love how Charlie um, break down this for me like i've never seen it like this before um we have america is broad and the system that they created is it's a beautiful system for me if you ask me it's a beautiful system not fully democrats like democ we don't actually practice full democracy 
but at the same time we practice it a bit you understand it's, it's kind of like a little bit like confusing but it's it's a beautiful system that was created and i love how charlie explained it i never saw it that way before getting charlie's point of view about how the system works at first uh the founding fathers what they brought up to be and not being a system of, because if we have to practice full democracy we just stand by majority of votes um so pass the minority of people who vote but we're not trying a full-time democracy you no know, some people will be electing themselves in over 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 again like what is actually happening in africa if you ask me um you see leaders that have ruled and um that tenor, they have they are coming from another second um time for the people to vote again so when people cast in their votes because of got democracy some, some of them buy votes from people by giving them money and stuff then you see more people voting for them to elect them back in again whereas they were not suitable to be in that position in the first place because the first four years that they ruled was terrible so because they have massive money and we were in the system of democracy majority wins the minority so they'll pay a lot of people money and have some way to manipulate the results so it will come out like majority of people voted for them and they'll go back to power again mostly, mostly happening in african countries like what i've seen so far a lot of times a lot of times guys and uh, you see them coming back in power again for another four years making it eight years and literally they they made no changes to the economy they made no ch no changes to the to better the life of the society like the two car the two main thing that the um society or the country needs more of being a citizen what um your government ought to give to you that is your privileges welfare and security and you see the citizens lacking both things like it is really really terrible like when i see that in africa i'll be like what it's really really terrible so yeah what um charlie was saying like it makes absolutely more sense to me as I'm seeing the reason why they are not actually full-time democracy in America and we actually practice more of um, what the state wants. <laughs> Let me put it like that. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful. I love how Charlie explained it. I think anyone who Charlie explained this will fully understand. I feel like the lady right there just want to um, get at Charlie and tell him that why is it that his own voice matter more than every other person? since majority of people are, are against what he's saying. Why is it that his own voice matters more? And Charlie is explaining to her in depth, but she's still not grabbing the entire, she's still not understanding the entire, um, entire speech, or she chooses not to understand, she chooses not to accept what Charlie has said. Because sometimes people, some people choose not to accept <laughs> even if they're saying it clearly. So this was actually beautiful. The lady has, um, did I use the word anger issue? And also, She's a snob. She's really a big snob. And she has a bitter side for, for Charlie. Like a really bitter side. Comment down below. Think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back. Wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama. I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch in my bed I got scales all